When I'm not being bullied online by furries, I'm here giving you the greatest in vintage Halloween mask content. Yes, different. We're back in my guest room. And some of you know what that means. That means there's no masks up here, is there? But there's this thing, all right? Remember, we were talking about the posters the other night. Yes, we are going to dig deep into my binder full of vintage movie posters. I got a really good response <clears throat> when it came to that video. A lot of people, a lot of my friends were like, hey, 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 go show more of those damn posters. Um, I explained something. I have to cut out for about a week. I got some real serious, serious family shit going on, and uh, I need I need to go be with my family. So I may try to have a video pop up midweek. You know, if you're looking for me all week and I'm not around, there's a real good reason for it. So I figured tonight, why not shoot you? Why not shoot a video for you guys on the oh, on some of the cool posters in this folder. This is a small, small percentage of what I've got. Um, and maybe we'll go through this one tube I have that's got posters in. I don't remember what's in it, so it'd be cool to start unrolling things in this tube. It might be cool to go through that tube and see what the hell's in there. So let's start tonight with this bio. God dang it. Let's start with uh, this Baroque the company that makes these binders is called Baroque. I put it on the uh, last video. Love this thing. I love it. I love it. I love it. A friend of mine, Mike Fry, Mike French Fry, told me, he goes, you should get this system I've got. It's called Baroque Portfolios. Blah. I'm like, yeah, whatever, kid. But I really looked into it, and I'm like, damn, I should have listened to him sooner because it is really, really something. So um, it's a good way... If you're like me and you have a lot of movie posters, this is a great, great way to actually enjoy the damn things. <laughs> you know, if your posters are all in tubes in a closet, all, you know, I've got, dude, I've got lots and lots of posters. If they're all in tubes, you can't look at them. And then just taking them in and out of tubes, you risk denting them or hitting the ends. And uh, I didn't want to go there. But anyway, I figured tonight... We will just go through this and uh, see what's in here. I think there's 50 posters in here. So um, let's take a look. I must have a couple of blank pages in the beginning. But here, yeah. I want to do this so the glare isn't so bad. Let's do this. Can we do this where there's no glare? Oh, yeah, look at that. You guys should be very familiar with that. That's And everything in this binder is an original, okay? No reprints. No reprints. All right. This is... A, I guess that's that's a little better. Anyway, there's going to be some glare, but I think we got to deal with it, guys. This is an original folded uh, reanimator one sheet. Let's go here. There's the creep show. There's one of the creep shows I showed you on the last video. Ah, uh, beautiful Fright Night one sheet. This is a rolled version. No folds. Nice, nice. What a movie, huh? What a one of my all-time favorite. I, I know I'm sure a lot of you love this movie as much as I do, but great. Beautiful Phantasm 2 one sheet. Poltergeist. We just played Poltergeist last night on the big screen, private showing, and it was unbelievable. I heard things in this film that I don't think I ever heard the hundred times I've watched it on different types of media like DVD or VHS. I heard shit watching this on the big screen that blew me away. Even a friend of mine that was sitting with me said the same thing. Like, did, did you hear that? I'm like, dude, I never heard that in that film. Just cool, cool hearing things for the first time on a movie that you think you know so well. Another Poltergeist original uh, poster there, one sheet showing the town, you know. That's a cool one. Original Halloween, mint, 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 uh, one sheet. 
this is i have the one with the this is like a blue or green ratings box i have that one framed somewhere signed by carpenter and jamie lee curtis i met them in person and uh i think nancy loomis signed it as well for me yeah the three of them i believe but uh so that is a gorgeous gorgeous you know and keep in mind it's under plastic okay so it may not look dark that black but it is mint you know beautiful beautiful one sheet poster let's move on see how nice you can just flip through your posters hmm do you know what that is what is that the howling german version real cool poster though really interesting look of a werewolf on this poster you know and you got some nice you know you know what anyway ah here one of my favorite favorite old films 13 ghosts what a fun fun old movie this is if you haven't seen this old movie you gotta watch it it's so it's so i don't want to say hokey it's just it's primitive but that's what i love about it who doesn't man all right motel hell boom look at that two versions of this poster one with the tractor farmer vincent pulling their heads with his tractor i think they had to change the poster up from what i remember hearing that was a little too graphic because you have the ropes around their necks see that here much cleaner more family friendly version of the heads in the ground you know it takes all kinds of critters to make Farmer Vincent fritters. Remember that. But yeah, totally this version, obviously, a lot more graphic, I guess you could say, than the other one. Got a little blood coming out of the O, but, you know, I love this one with the ropes around their necks. Pulling them out. And that's a roll. No, that was a, that was a, that's a folded one. Real nice folded one version. This also has the fold, fold lines. When I was younger, I despised folded movie posters. <laughs> now it doesn't bother me one bit. Of course, I love the rolled ones a lot, but it does not bother me. You guys, I don't have to tell you what these are. You can tell by reading them with your own eyeballs, but that's a nice, gorgeous, gorgeous rolled one sheet. Both of these are rolled versions. Um, what else? Do, 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 do. All right. Original Invasion of the Body Snatchers. That's a folded, folded version, one sheet of that original. The one from 79, which is my favorite. Taurus Trap, of course. Got to have a Taurus Trap poster in your collection. Folded one sheet. Uh, here we have, aha, look at that. What a, These images mean so much to me, you know? Oh, we got, see, we got a little... Ow, no problem here. This page is... There we go. These images mean so much to me. You know, Texas 2, Halloween 3. This is a beautiful, you know, rolled one sheet. You may see little, uh, you know, that's the, that's the plastic sheet. It's not blemishes in the poster at all. What could be next? I'm not even sure what's next when I do this. I just as curious as you guys are it's not like i look at this often you know let's flip it over oh man look at that halloween 2 and phantasm the originals original one sheets this is a nice rolled beautiful super mint rolled poster folded version on the phantasm very right, well Oh, yeah, this is a cool Phantasm poster. This is a folded version. I love that the eyes are coming out of the backs of her hands like that. Shockwaves. You guys that follow the channel know I have a great Shockwave Zombie um, by Jeff Wehinkle in the collection. It's so cool. He sculpted it, painted it for me. Killer, killer. Evil Dead 2, of course. One of the uh, one of the most recognizable images in '80s horror is that poster right there. If you don't know what that is, you don't know your horror. The Vampire Lovers. You guys familiar with this film? 1970. 
the vampire lovers. Ingrid Pitt, George Cole, Kate O'Mara, and Peter Cushing. Guest star, Dawn Adams. Let's see what else here we've got. <laughs> I've got hundreds more to put in these books. The Terror. Awesome Boris Karloff poster. I love this poster because his face is so big and you have the spider web, you know, with the bodies hanging in it. It's so cool. Just a great and very early appearance of Mr. Jack Nicholson in a film. That's an old one. Here is the other, the other creep show uh, one sheet we were looking at last time. Remember, there's two versions. They got one has a different poster on each wall here, the Shining, and the other one is uh, Salem's Lot in the background. Cool, cool uh, comic book version creep show posters. Got both of them. What's next? What's next? Return of the Living Dead and Horror Hotel. Another great poster. Green, black and white and green, but man, it sure works, doesn't it? It's so cool. Um, I was recently looking at a Return of the Living Dead poster at a show. It was a subway. It was a massive subway version poster. I almost got it. But what the hell was I going to do with that? Where would I keep it, you know? It's like, you only got so much, so much room. Oh, pieces. And Night of the Living Dead. So this, this poster was 10 years after the original 1968 release. They came out, they released it again, came out the red poster. Just a cool poster to have. Real, really nice example of that red poster. The pieces poster is gorgeous. Perfect condition. Um... Oh, here we go. We're getting into some good stuff now, huh? Nightmare on Elm Street and Hellraiser 3. Great image of Pinhead on that poster in front of New York City. Got the Twin Towers back there. <clears throat> Any poster with Pinhead on it is a winner in my book. <laughs> I've had a lot of Hellraiser posters over the years. Next. What's next? All right. Hellbound, Hellraiser 2, and the original Hellraiser 1 sheet. I have one of these that's quite tattered because I met Clive Barker in person years and years and years ago. Early 90s, I met him in Chicago. He signed it. I had Doug Bradley sign it. So the two of them at least signed it for me way before the internet was invented, you know? So it was cool to go meet people back then, back in the day when... Well, they would sign shit for free. <laughs> you know, I don't think I, I, maybe I paid 10 bucks for a signature back then from Doug Bradley. But, uh, yeah, they used to sign stuff for free at shows. And then it was $20. And I was like, $20? <laughs> and now it can be 40 and 60 Here you go. Two awesome, awesome posters. Original zombie, folded one sheet, and beautiful, beautiful rolled Lost Boys. Such a great image on that 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 art, you know, isn't it? What an amazing poster that is. What could be next? Let's see. Creep Show 2 and Videodrome. I think I have three of these. I at least have two Videodrome one sheets. The one's framed in my bedroom. And then uh, this beautiful mint condition one. Creep Show 2. Of course, I love that film. All right, what do we got here? Next comes Texas Chainsaw Part Two, the other poster with that saw ripping through the door. You get a little view of Leatherface there. You know, this is so cool. I've always loved this poster, but nothing beats the uh, Breakfast Club version. Deadly Spawn poster, beautiful one sheet, um, original. What is next? What the heck is Tim Hildebrandt art on that one? So, what could be next? Oh, yeah, cool. 1972 classic Tombs of the Blind Dead. Um, awesome dead dudes in this film. But the artwork on these posters is so cool. 
these are both German versions, I believe. Yeah, they're both German. German, just two different style German posters for the film. What's next? What's next? Aha! Cool Dawn of the Dead VHS poster. See, it's got the Thorn Emmy video cassette info here. Exclusive Thorn Emmy VHS and Beta. You got Flyboy up in the corner there. But uh, cool. Terror in the Haunted House. Awesome poster. Um, skulls coming down the steps. I just, I love this era of horror posters. Okay. Um, this was 1959. This movie came out. And that is an awesome, awesome one sheet. Very, very, very nice condition. Let's go. Oh, I should show you the ones that are... There's a lot more posters that are, we can look at. Here's the Possession poster that you probably saw in the last video. We're going to go through the tube. We're going to go through and show you. I've got, <clears throat> I've got uh, posters that are framed. We'll look at those. Posters in one of the tubes. And then I have to go in my storage and get more posters out soon. That will be all. You know, we can do videos on posters for a long time. Here, the good old Raven. Vincent Price, Peter Lorre, and Boris Karloff. And guess who else is in this one again? Jack Nicholson. <laughs> Another Roger Corman classic. Isn't that cool? Let's, uh, okay, we're gonna bring the tube up here that's got the cool posters in it. First, let's go downstairs and show you some things that are in frames and then we'll come right back. All right, here we go. I guess before we go down there, these are technically original one sheets. You know, if you're in a David Lynch, these don't go with the horror theme, but Wild at Heart. Blue Velvet, that's an original one sheet. <clears throat> now, 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 going down my staircase. Original Mulholland Drive one sheet framed. Fire Walk with me. And I had Cheryl Lee autograph this one in person. She was awesome. I was talking with her and her sister forever. Had my daughter with me. I was this close to going out to dinner with her, I think. It was, it was, it was right there, guys. Anyway, <laughs> that's another story. Lost Highway. Oh, my God. What a movie. God, David Lynch is... He is... He is the master. All right, now, let's show you some other legit, real deal one sheets. All right, that is... A rolled Evil Dead one sheet. Um, I recently had a bunch of posters framed nicely to hang up, to hang up in here. My friend Billy, he goes, I don't ever recall there being in a rolled Evil Dead one sheet, you know. So I don't know how rare it is. You know, maybe some you some of you poster guys out there will go, no big deal. There's a bunch of them, but yeah, that's that's a rolled Evil Dead. Rolled Evil Dead one sheet. All right. Boom. That is a original Friday the 13th part three in 3D one sheet. Some of my favorite artwork out of the whole franchise. This and another one I'm about to show you. I just gotta figure out where the hell it's at. There it is. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite posters of all time. The Friday the 13th original one sheet. That is, to me, some of the best artwork for a horror movie of all time. God, I love it. We're going to go on back in the messy bedroom. Okay, so, original Halloween 3 day bill. I had this thing for the longest time. It's like a nice, thick, almost cardstock version of this poster. Hey, there he is. Um, not paper. It's, it's thick, man. And, uh... <laughs> So I took this thing and obtained every signature you're about to see in person um, right in front of me. Tom Atkins, turn it off. So you got John Carpenter, Nancy Loomis, Don Post, the mask man, Dick Warlock, the assassin, H3, peace and love, Stacy Neal, Tommy Lee Wallace, the fucking man. And there's a signature on here that most people will laugh that it's on this poster. A long time ago, this was signed a long time ago, um, 
a lot of people thought that Jamie Lee Curtis's voice was in this film on the telephone. It sounds just like her. I think on IMDb, it actually was credited as her voice. Like it was, I remember reading it and uh, I was standing in front of Jamie Lee Curtis and I'm just like, will you just sign it for the heck of it? You know, just, I don't give a, who cares? It's still incredible <laughs> that Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, was standing there, but it was cool. She was there was sitting there talking with her and she goes, I'm not in this movie. I go, I know, but Hey, who cares? The thought, you're, the thought of you in it is in many people's minds. I don't give a shit. It's my poster. Whatever. But, yeah. Just a, what a heck, what a group of signatures to have. Which brings us to this other day bill. Well, it's not really, a, I guess it's technically a day bill. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is the Australian day bill. That's what it is. And uh, it's the original poster. Now, this one I also had all the signatures obtained in person, you know? I'm very leery buying anything out there that's autographed. You know, nowadays it's very easy to get signatures on things, not this one anymore. But, you know, it, it used to be a big deal to have an autographed piece of memorabilia. Now it's like, meh, who cares? Anybody can go, anybody can go to any convention, stand in line, pay $60 and get whoever signature they want. You know what I mean? So, but to me, you know, in, in this case, this is one of my top five favorite films of all effing time. You know what I mean? The man. I mean, it's like, to me, this is incredible for me to have because I was there getting it signed. Everyone autographed this poster and it means a lot to me. Um, that takes us to our next poster over here. Look out, Elvira. <clears throat> the original folded Dawn of the Dead one sheet. Um, original, I had all these signed in front of me as well. I got great signatures on this poster. Tom Savini, Romero, the rest of the cast. Like this, to me again, means a lot to me. One of my favorite films of all time. Autographed by everybody. That means a lot to me, okay? Real quick. Yeah, 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 okay. Another, the other video drone poster folded. I pulled that out of a movie theater in the 90s. Now we have to go show you more framed posters and posters that are in a tube that we're gonna take out for the first time in a long time. So this should be fun. Two more original one sheets. Frame nicely, they're gonna go in the living room at some point. I have a pretty big living room, so I got the room. Um, and look at that, another favorite poster. The British quad zombies version of Dawn of the Dead. I love when posters have old X ratings on them too. I think it's so freaking cool. Ah, oh, it's awesome. What a great, great illustration on that. That's the original. I saw one of these in Kirk's collection when he had us. He invited us out to see his posters one time and it was unbelievable. All right, down to the unfinished basement where I'm building the tiki, the crazy tiki room. I gotta show you three of my favorite one sheets. Real quick, since we're on the uh, subject of posters, that is an original Black Sunday one sheet and then an original 1968 Night of the Living Dead folded version, but beautiful, beautiful condition, just folded and framed. This was all a temporary setup, these, these life-size monsters. They, they do not belong here. They're all gonna be gone out of the way. What I really wanted to show you down here were these incredible posters. These are three of the best posters I would say I have in my entire collection. Um, original House on Haunted Hill, Day of the Triffids, Mole People, insane quality. Um, these posters are like brand spanking new. <sighs> rolled version, rolled version, folded version, but incredible. Like, I mean, the colors are vibrant, and these are some of the my favorite things in this entire house are right here in front of you so 
All right, guys, we're going to open this poster tube that I forgot I even had. We're going to see what's inside of it. And then, as time goes on, I will get other posters out of storage. I probably have at least 200, maybe 300, maybe 300. All late 70s through the 80s obscure and awesome horror. Like some way out shit. So, today's a small taste of things, but... Let's open this tube and see what's in here. <laughs> here we go. Alligator 2. The mutation. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. Getting a little better now. Demons 2. The nightmare returns. That's party. Nice, nice, nice poster. Nice one sheet. <laughs> Steve Gutenberg. High spirits. We got a Halloween 3 poster. What else? See, I, got, I have so much weird stuff. Oh, Nightmare, Nightmare 5. That's a good one. Dream Child. Of course. Ah! What else here? See, this is what I hate having things in tubes. I, I hate it. Woo! Oh boy. Hold on. Of course. That is a, that's a great one. Return of the Living Dead, Part 2. Oh yeah, one of my favorite movies, Prince of Darkness. Man, I remember the first time I saw this film, it freaked me out. <laughs> when they showed him standing in that little spot, you know, around the corner, that image of him, and it, it just made me... It, it scared the crap out of my young self. When I, when I was a kid, man, that, that freaked me out, that scene. But man, nice, beautiful, mint, 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 Prince of Darkness. I mean, you know, the TV show was everything to me. Tales from the Dark Side. That's the movie poster for the film. Nice, nice one. Another classic poster, Basket Case 2. The poster's probably better than the film, <laughs> but I love it. I still love the film, but that is great. I had the damn little cardboard uh, video store mobile that hung up from the ceiling i sold it like last year like a dimwit i should have kept that jason goes to hell jason goes to hell beautiful one sheet another hellraiser 3 poster oh hello near dark one of the greats that one hit me hard the death of bill paxton great great film though then we got a Jason Takes Manhattan, and They Live. I think that They Live is a double-sided. Yep, sure is. Yeah, it's like it's like a reverse image on the back. Pretty cool. All right, guys, this was a good episode. I had fun doing this. There's a bunch of stuff in these tubes. So when I get back in town, maybe we'll go through all of these. And there's a ton of tubes in storage filled with posters. Lots and lots and lots that I... I want to put all in those binders, so keep uh, keep watching the channel. I'll be back, you know, probably Friday, and I promise to bring you more cool videos on masks. Good night.